get down to business. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most danceable Disney songs. I'm so glad I left my tower. Like all you lovely folks, I've got a dream. For this list, we'll be looking at the best tracks from the studio's animated flicks that always get us moving. Which of these bops are you unable to resist? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Hakuna Matata, The Lion King The road to a happy ending in The Lion King is paved with tragedy and strife, but thankfully, the darker elements are balanced with light. A big part of that light is tunes that make anyone want to dance. Doing so to I Just Can't Wait to Be King, for instance, makes us feel young. It's gonna be No musical number is better suited for busting a move than Hakuna Matata, though. Not only does it give Simba solace and see him through as he grows up, it also invigorates us with its up-tempo rhythm. Ain't no passing craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Yes, say it, kid. Before we know it, we're singing every word while jumping around and shaking a leg. That ain't no passing dance craze. Number 9. Beauty and the Beast, Beauty and the Beast Tale as old as time True as it can be If you're in the mood for a ballad to waltz to, look no further than Beauty and the Beast's theme song. We all know it best from the film's magnificent ballroom scene, where Belle and Beast practically float across the floor together in stunning harmony. But you don't need fancy outfits or a grand locale to glide with a partner to the sound of this tune. Ever as before, ever just as sure as the sun will rise. No, the music and the late Angela Lansbury's voice create a record that's romantic enough to make any moment timeless and right. All you really have to do is let Beauty and the Beast flow through you. Your feet will handle the rest. Rising in the east, tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme, beauty and the beast. Number 8. Almost There, The Princess and the Frog In this 2009 flick, our gal Tiana has big dreams, owning her own restaurant-type big. And it's no wonder, because she's a force to be reckoned with. Almost There is her singing about this goal, and we even get a look at her vision as she does so. The visuals make us hungry, but the jazzy tune makes us want to get up and cut a rug. Daddy told me fairy tales can come true. You gotta make them happen. It all depends on you. It has every necessary ingredient. It's elegant, it's lively, and it's positively brimming with energy. So how could we not? We'd recommend dancing before going to grab beignets, though. We wouldn't want anyone to wind up with a stomach ache from all the excitement. You know I've had my share, but I've climbed a mountain, I've crossed a river, and I'm almost there. Number 7. You're Welcome, Moana. Some tunes are so infectious nobody is left indifferent by them. Your welcome is one of those, and dancing is a big side effect of hearing it. When you're staring at a demigod, what can I say except you're welcome? It's not enough to just watch the scene and sing along. As soon as Maui starts not so humble bragging about everything he's done, we find ourselves shaking our shoulders in our seats. And when the chorus hits, well, by then we've moved into standing positions, fully letting loose and allowing the rhythm to move us. For the islands I pulled from the sea, there's no need to pray, it's okay, you're welcome. Ha! I guess it's just my way of being me. We know Maui has given us a lot, from fire to the sun to the sky. But honestly, this hit might be the greatest gift of all. Thanks, friend. Cause I'm gonna need that boat. I'm sailing away, away. You're welcome. Cause Maui can do everything but float. Number 6. Why Should I Worry? Oliver and Company. You know how sometimes the best way to forget your troubles is to unwind and boogie down to the music like nobody's watching? Well, Why Should I Worry is 
perfect for those occasions. One minute I'm in Central Park. Dodger uses it to tell us what he's all about, and it doesn't take long before the bouncy rhythm and self-assured lyrics make it clear he's one easy-going dog. I'm street smart. I got New York City heart. Why should I worry? Why should I care? Hearing him go on about street savoir faire and his lack of worry makes us want to follow his lead and be a little carefree. We can't think of a better way to do that than shuffling our way across the floor. Number 5. Zero to Hero – Hercules Whenever we're looking to spin and sway, we turn to Hercules' muses because they've given us many tunes that enable us to do exactly that. If we have to choose a favorite, though, it's gotta be Zero to Hero. The track is an ode to Herc's newfound fame and success, which is a big deal. Bless my soul, Herc was on a road. Person of the week in every Greek opinion poll. What a pro, Herc could stop a show. Boy, no matter monster and you're talking SRO. Fittingly, it's filled with the excitement and dynamism the moment calls for, which makes it ideal for whirling and twirling around. We just wish we could be in a room with the muses to get tips, but nevertheless, the number is an awesome, rhythmic 10 for 10. Number 4. We Don't Talk About Bruno, Encanto As far as Disney movie soundtracks go, Encanto has one of the best. It's just a lot you simply got to know, so welcome to the family, Madrigal, the home of the family, Madrigal, we're on our way. From the family Madrigal to surface pressure and beyond, the tunes demand we get down. Pressure like a grip, 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 and it won't let go, whoa. Pressure like a tick, 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 till it's ready to blow, whoa, oh, oh. The winning number in this regard has to be We Don't Talk About Bruno. A modern classic, it's one of those songs where the lyrics, production, and instrumentation come together to create something that makes it impossible to sit still. The salsa and Latin pop hit, which also incorporates a slew of other genres, is begging us to step, hop, and strut to the beat. We couldn't imagine a more electrifying way through which to learn what everyone thinks about Bruno. Number 3. Eye to Eye – The Goofy Movie I got myself a notion One I know that you'll understand We set the world in motion Kevin Campbell outdid himself as fictional pop star Powerline in a Goofy movie, and nowhere is that more evident than eye to eye. We're not being hyperbolic when we say that any floor becomes a dance floor in our eyes once this bop comes on. Each second of the poppy tune is more exuberant than the last, and that kind of vibrancy is impossible to ignore. No, seriously, our arms and legs won't let us ignore it. The best part is we don't even have to worry about choreography. We just try to recreate Powerline and Company's moves from the movie as best we can. Do that, and you'll be golden. Number 2. Friend Like Me, Aladdin Master, I don't think you quite realize what you've got here. So why don't you just ruminate whilst I illuminate the possibilities? How can anyone not groove when Genie's singing? We simply do not see it happening. It wouldn't be right, especially when the number he's bringing to life is Friend Like Me. 
The show tune is about as catchy and entertaining as they come, and we don't just mean lyrically. We're helpless in the face of its flamboyant charm and dance-inducing powers. Can your friends do this? Can your friends do that? Can your friends pull this out their little hat? Sure, we may briefly pause to catch our breath, but otherwise, we're basically in constant motion for the duration of this one. And that's more than alright. Genie isn't the only one who knows how to get us jumping either. I steal only what I can't afford. That's everything. One jump ahead of the law, man. That's all. And that's no joke. These guys don't appreciate I'm pro. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Try everything, Zootopia. We've tried everything. We can't stop dancing. Once Upon a Dream, Sleeping Beauty. Grab a partner and waltz your heart out. Topsy Turvy, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Clopin knows how to awaken our inner performers. Once a year we throw a party here in town. Once a year we turn all parties upside down. Every man's a king and every king's a clown. Once again, it's Topsy Turvy Day. Trash in the Camp, Tarzan. An eclectic number that allows you to get creative with choreography. The Bare Necessities, The Jungle Book. Dancing is a necessity here. And get with the beat. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Under the Sea, The Little Mermaid You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. You're already swinging from side to side, aren't you? As Sebastian attempts to make Ariel understand that living on land is a bad idea, he basically crafts a reggae-infused love letter to life under the sea. And what a thrilling love letter it is. He, with some help from his fellow sea creatures, delivers a masterpiece that lifts us up and immediately makes us move our bodies. You could jive, samba, or merely shimmy with little rhyme or reason all over your living room. The options are basically endless, but no matter what style you choose, you're sure to have a blast dancing if Under the Sea is blaring through the speakers. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.